Are you getting the right type of sleep? Not getting the right type of sleep or enough sleep can be detrimental to your health. Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Thahir. I'm a board certified sleep doctor and you're watching the Fem Health channel. Today we're going to explore two important parts of your sleep, deep sleep and REM sleep. If you've ever wondered what happens in your body and brain while you sleep, you're in the right place. Let's start by talking about deep sleep. This is also called stage three or slow wave sleep. This is a stage where your body really gets to work on repairing itself. During deep sleep or slow wave sleep, your brain waves slow down a lot. This produces long, slow delta waves. The deep sleep stage of sleep, which is stage three, is restorative sleep. This is when your body focuses on things like muscle repair, cell regeneration, and strengthening your immune system. The stage of sleep is also important for memory consolidation, helping your brain store information and experiences from the day. Have you ever had trouble waking up and felt really groggy after? That's likely because you were probably in deep sleep. Stage three sleep is the hardest stage to wake up from. Now, what are some ways to improve deep sleep? To improve deep sleep, it's important to establish a regular sleep schedule, maintain a cool, dark, and quiet bedroom environment, and engage in regular physical activity. Avoiding stimulants like caffeine and nicotine, limiting alcohol, and practicing a relaxing bedtime routine can also enhance deep sleep quality. Reducing exposure to screens before bed, eating a balanced diet rich in magnesium and calcium, and creating a peaceful sleep environment can all help improve deep sleep. Now let's move on to REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement. This is the stage of sleep where most of your dreaming happens. In REM sleep, your brain is almost as active as it is when you're awake, but your body is temporarily paralyzed, and that is actually a good thing. This paralysis stops you from acting out your dreams. Your eyes, however, move rapidly behind your eyelids, which is how the stage got its name. REM sleep is also essential for your brain function. It is during this REM stage that your mind works on things like memory consolidation, problem solving, and even emotional regulation. The longer you sleep, the more time you'll spend in REM as the night progresses. What are some ways you can improve REM sleep? For REM sleep, getting enough total sleep is very important because REM happens later in the sleep cycle. Managing stress through relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing can help improve REM sleep quality. Similar to deep sleep, you will also want to avoid alcohol before bed. If you're going to have a glass of wine, have it several hours before you sleep. You may also want to avoid heavy meals before bed to reduce interruptions to your REM sleep. Also during the daytime, exposure to natural light can help to regulate your circadian rhythm. Mentally stimulating activities during the day, like reading or puzzles, can also support REM sleep since it's vital for memory, learning, and emotional regulation. Now that you know about deep sleep and REM sleep, let's break down the four stages of sleep that you cycle through each night. Stage one is the lightest stage of sleep. This is the stage where you're just starting to drift off. It's a short stage and lasts about 15 to 10 minutes. During stage one, your muscles relax, your breathing slows, and you can be easily woken up. Next comes stage two, which is still a light sleep, but more relaxed than stage one. Your body temperature drops, your heart rate slows down, and your brain waves slow as well, except for brief bursts of activity we call sleep spindles. This stage helps prepare you for deep sleep, and it's where you spend most of your sleep time. As I mentioned earlier, stage three is deep sleep, and it's all about recovery. Your brain produces slow delta waves, and your body focuses on physical repair. This stage is vital for your immune system and helps you wake up feeling rested and refreshed. And finally, we get to REM sleep, where most of your dreaming happens. This stage is crucial for brain health and emotional regulation. Your brain is highly active while your body stays still in a state of temporary paralysis. So how does this all come together? Throughout the night, you'll cycle through these stages of sleep every 90 minutes or so. In the first half of the night, you'll spend more time in deep sleep. As the night goes on, your REM sleep stages get longer, which is why you often have vivid dreams right before you wake up. To sum it up, deep sleep is for your body's physical recovery and REM sleep is for your brain's mental and emotional health. Both are critical and understanding these stages can help you prioritize getting good sleep. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe below and we will see you next time.